Today is Wednesday, March 9th, 2022, and I'll read Ezekiel chapter 9, one of the major prophets, and it's called Wrath Upon Jerusalem. That doesn't sound optimistic, but this let this be a warning, and may this lead people to um, draw closer to you, God, and have that wisdom and grow in their fear of wisdom. Beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord in a good way. All right, wrath upon Jerusalem. Then he called into my ear in a loud voice, saying, Bring nearer the executioners of the city, each with his weapon of destruction in his hand. Behold, six men came from the direction of the upper gate, facing north, each with his war club in his hand. One man among them, clothed in linen, had a scribe's writing case at his side. They went in and stood beside the bronze star. Then the glory of the God of Israel went up from above the cherub, where it had been, to the threshold of the house. He called to the man, clothed in linen, who had the scribes in Norn at his side. Adonai said to him, Go throughout the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, make a mark on the foreheads of the people who sigh and moan over all the abominations that are committed in it. To the others he said in my hearing, Go through the city after him and strike. Show no pity or compassion. Kill off old men, young men, and girls, little children and women, but touch no one who has a mark. Begin at my sanctuary. Then they began with the elders who were before the house. He said to them, Defile the house and fill the courts with a strain slain. Go out. So they went out and began to kill in the city. While they were out killing, I was left alone. I fell on my face and cried out, saying, Alas, Adonai Elohim, are you going to destroy all the remnant of Israel by pouring out your wrath upon Jerusalem? He said to me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is very, very great. The land is full of blood, and the city is full of corruption. For they say, Adonai has forsaken the land. Adonai does not see. As for me, my eye will not show pity, nor will I spare. I will bring their conduct upon their head. Behold, the man clothed in linen, who had the inkworm at his side, reported, saying, I have done just as you have commanded me. And that's verse 11, end of Ezekiel chapter 9, Wrath upon Jerusalem. Lord, we pray for the people of Jerusalem and all cities throughout the world. May they repent of their sins and come to you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.